Matt from SEO for Carrot, and I'm here to tell you today a little bit about testimonials, right? So this is one of my uh, dummy pages. It's not even published. We have two types of testimonials here. We have the credibility bar testimonial, which here I have put underneath the hero section. And now here's another type of testimonial one with a picture and a hyperlink. This is the hyperlink to the remainder of the actual testimonial. This is a real testimonial I have from Zillow from when I was a real estate agent in New York before we moved here to beautiful Virginia. This is me and my lovely bride, Valerie. Okay, so would you like to have one or both of these on your carrot website? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we go back over here into your pages section. I am going to go pick a page over here, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to duplicate it. Why am I duplicating it? Because then I can work on it and not worry about it, all right? If I make some changes that I don't like, then I will uh, simply erase it because this is my dummy page, right? So the first one we're gonna do, we are going to create a, um, a testimonial bar, a uh, credibility bar testimonial. So we're going to pick a spot on the page. I'm picking here simply because this is kind of like the hero section and we had it on the hero section before. Hover till you see the plus, left click. Okay, it's the easiest. If you go to the browse all over here on the left, we have all of our choices. Now notice the credibility bar, the credibility bar testimonial, the credibility bar gallery. You can only have one of these, one of each on a page. So once you put this credibility bar where it is, you cannot put another one on the page, just one per page. So just click it. Boom, very, very simple. Now, what do we do over here? It picks a random testimonial. But Matt, where are the testimonials? I'll show you that in a minute. Come over here and hover over that pencil. You see where I am over here. This is a little pencil and you can edit whatever you'd like. Over here to the right, follow my mouse to the right. You can choose the testimonial. So right now I have two testimonials and then there is a canned one in here. It's not really a testimonial. It's um, you know from truly a cash offer goes faster. This comes with your carrot site. These two I put in myself. So I can choose a different one or I can choose uh, another, right? That's how this works. Click this button over here, right? Let's click back. So go back over here, click this pencil over here, switch to edit, and now I can choose it over here, right? So you got two ways, two ways of doing that. Now we click this section here. This is the credibility bar. If you go down to the bottom left, it'll always tell you where you are. <clears throat> a credibility bar is like a group in that I can come over here and choose the color, a background color. Click the button, click the background, and let's just say I don't want it to be like that. I want it to pop a little bit more, or I want a different, I want a blue. Well, that looks pretty good. Boom. Now I'm going to not publish because I don't want this page as a duplicate. We're going to save to draft. And now I'm going to preview and let's see what it looks like or what it would look like on a published page. So here we go. This is what it would look like. It was a pleasure working with Matt and his team. This is what your, uh, and then we, you can move this wherever you would like. Right? So now we're going to go to the next type of testimonial. That was the one I showed you over here with the picture and the hyperlink. But Matt, what about the testimonials? I'll get to them in a second. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to put the testimonials on your page. So let's come down here just to make it a little easier. I'll hover my mouse until I see a plus sign. I wanna put my testimonial here click browse all. Now let's review the left. Take a look. See the credibility bars are no longer available because I used a credibility bar already up top. We are going to go over here to testimonial. Click testimonial and now it pre-fills. Look at this. Author's image will appear. 
All right. Testimonial. And it says link off because there's no link in there. Everything that we want to do when we're working in, right? And so it says we're working in the testimonial is going to be here on the right. Okay. It's going to be here on the right. We can choose which testimonial we want to put in there. I put Gina. I put Joe. I put Trulia. Okay. Matt, what if I don't have a picture? Hide the image. Boom. Okay. Not everything's going to have a picture. Pictures catch people's eyes, right? But if there is a picture, you can show it. Like if I choose the Gina one and I added a picture to it, or I can hide the image. Let's show it what it looks like with the picture. We're going to save draft. We are going to preview. Here's our credibility bar testimonial. And here is our regular testimonial. Okay, Matt, how do I get to the testimonials? How do I put them in? Here we go, it is so easy, it's not funny. We go back to our edit pages on the left under content. Let's say that you don't have this, just click the content button. See, content, click the content button, boom. Okay, we're going to come down here to testimonials. Click testimonials. And here are your testimonials. How do I add one? Very, very simple. Add new. As they come in and you type in your testimonial. Working with Academy Rentals was the best experience of my life. Matt is really, really, really cool. All right? Perfect. Who is the author? The author is Matt's mom, right? Testimonial location. Uh, Matt's mom lives in New Jersey, right? Okay. Testimonial URL. Do you have a link to this? Is this a testimonial on Facebook? Is this a testimonial in your Google uh, account? You simply hyperlink it. Now the hyperlink will be a hyperlink unless you put something down here that says read more, right? Or whatever you would like. Do you want to add an image? This is just like adding an image for the rest of your carrot site. Click the add image button. If you have images in there already, you can use them or upload files, select files from your computer, upload them, and you are good to go. From that point, you hit publish, publish, and your testimonial is ready to go. Let's see what it looks like in the edit pages. So let's go back to our pages, right? And this is the page that we just worked on. We're gonna go to edit. Now over here, let's click on this. It says we're working in the testimonial. Let's choose over here. Remember we had Joe and Gina and Trulia. Now we have Matt's mom. Here's the one I just put in. Working with Academy Rentals was the best experience of my life. Matt is really, really, really cool. Matt's mom from New Jersey. Let's go down here to this one here. We're gonna click. It tells us in the left that this is a testimonial. Who are we gonna use? We're gonna use the one that says Matt's mom. Uh, but you know what? I don't have a picture for that. I'm gonna hide it. We're gonna save draft. Now let's look at what this page looks like now. Here we go. There's our updated review there. And here is our new review down at the bottom, but this one without a picture. If you have any questions at all, anything else you want to see, do, or uh, want to learn about on the Carrot system, just reply back to any emails I send to you. Go to the uh, comments below, put whatever you want in, and I will respond and make a video for you. Forgive me if I'm mumbling. I am probably on cold medicine and don't even know half of what I'm saying. All right. Until next time, have a great day.